மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க Thank you. Hey guys and welcome back. So in this lesson we're going to see another one-sided game from White as Black makes some uh some relatively simple mistakes in the opening and then White gets a huge advantage from very early on. Now the player playing White in this game is Grandmaster Boris Grachev rated over 2650 Fide and playing Black is Utna Sunov rated about 2450 Fide. So going forward here we have uh kind of the usual London move order one of the very main lines here and the first moment i want to uh want to talk about is this move b6 which is a usual natural move for black to complete development uh with a kind of innocent intention of playing bishop b7 uh the problem with b6 so early here is it's very weakening to this diagonal especially to the knight on c6 and because black is not castled this gives white a very small window of opportunity to seize initiative and that's exactly what we're going to see here uh after the move bishop b5 uh black is put on the defense and all it took was one more mistake for black to just get a, a terrible position and basically lose material by force uh and that one more mistake was uh was actually a natural looking move bishop to b7 just defending the the knight on c6 um the reason why this is bad is because the bishop belongs on d7 to break the pin and what black should have done was play queen c7 defending the the knight with the queen and then if a move like queen a4 is played black can respond with bishop d7 and essentially hold everything together so now we'll see the difference after bishop b7 uh the the move to play here for white is um is queen a4 just increasing pressure and the line continues so if you saw queen a4 I would encourage you to uh to calculate further and calculate to a point where you see that white is winning my material no matter what black plays. So uh here of course the knight has to be defended. Black played a uh, straightforward move queen c7. But the problem for black is the knight is pinned compared to the other line if the bishop were on d7 the knight wouldn't be pinned so there wouldn't be as many opportunities for white. But in this case there's a nice continuation trade on d6 and then knight e5 building up even more pressure and now it's important to note here there's a couple of targets that white uh, has his eyes on of course the knight on c6 is the main target as it's pinned and it's attacked uh three times but on on top of that also this pawn on a7 which doesn't seem like the most obvious target as it uh it appears to be well defended but um the problem for black is the only way to defend the knight on c6 is to move the rook from c8 uh which was played in the game and this leaves the a pawn undefended as the knight is still pinned on c6 so why that went ahead takes the pawn on e7 and uh this is just the first pawn that white wins and white is is continuing initiative with this move as the bishop is attacked and the b6 pawn is attacked and we're going to see that white uh, actually wins another pawn by force after queen c7 was played white very simply takes on c5 uh just winning another pawn after b takes c5 trade on on c6 and then queen takes c5 and just like that white is up uh very healthy two pawns and uh black has absolutely no compensation for the two pawns uh the game continued bishop take b5 queen take b5 and after knight d7 um i'm not going to go any further here if you would like to you can look at how uh white converted the advantage being up two pawns but uh this is more than enough for a, a very strong grandmaster to win the game so hope you guys can uh can get some insight from uh from this moment especially if your opponent uh is slow to castle like in this position playing b6 then you want to be on the lookout for opportunities now it's not always possible to uh punish your opponent for such a seemingly small mistake like this but of course as we've seen many times before it is possible and you want to look for ways to be ambitious in the opening to seize initiative and especially look for ways to perhaps slow down your opponent from castling so hope you guys enjoyed that and i will see you in the next lesson <laughs>
மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க தேங்க்யூ